deep ocean can desalinate water. To push seawater through a reverse osmosis system, you need to pump it to a pressure of about 60 bars. That's roughly 20 times more than the pressure we get at the tap and it gobbles a lot of energy. But energy is not the only source of expenses when you operate a desalination system. You also have to cope with the membrane's degradation over time and it's clogging under the effect of biofouling. That phenomenon is caused by the microorganisms which are quite present in the coastal areas where desalination plants place their water intake. Now, there's a place where you naturally find the 60 bars of pressure you're looking for. That's 600 meters under sea level and welcome side effect. Down there, water is of much better quality with much fewer microorganisms. So if you sink your desalination skid at this depth, like what water rice does, you actually kill two birds with one stone. Hence, the Norwegian company expects to reduce desalination's energy requirements by 50% while also reducing the footprint needed on shore. And that's how, indeed, 